We are bringing you team coverage tonight as this storm intensifies. Apes 10 Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods is tracking the rain, high winds and heavy snow now picking up. But we get we, what well, we begin with ABC 10's van two in the Sierra. New at 11, the snow is catching drivers off guard. Yeah, the Shell station at the Nyack stop here has been serving as a site of refuge for stranded drivers caught unaware of this snowstorm. Now the attendant here telling me today that they have sold hundreds of sets of new trains since snow started falling early this morning. And officials warn this storm is only going to get worse overnight. As snow moved across the Sierra, a line of stranded drivers formed waiting to help get new chains on their tires at the Shell gas station at Nyack. It's pretty cold, snowy day, uh, it's first time coming like this. Even those with snow driving experience realized they weren't quite ready for this storm. My husband's not with me, so I have to do it myself. I didn't get married to put chains on by myself. <laughs> Maximum chain control checkpoints set up at Nyack as some 600 Caltrans workers and 120 heavy snow removal equipment cleared the I-80 and Highway 50 corridors. This sucks. Transportation officials say they've been preparing for these dangerous snowy and icy conditions since Friday. So we're, you know, up and running and re ready. But warned the heaviest snowfall expected Monday and Tuesday. I was supposed to come back home tomorrow, but I decided to come early because of it. For Mariella of Reno, a first time for everything. First time putting chains on myself. Sharpening her snow driving skills. Practice putting the chains on before you have to put the chains on. I did. But as the forecast is expected to drop several feet of snow Monday, transportation officials say even the most experienced drivers should avoid travel if possible, even just a few inches, creating havoc on the roads. Don't do it. <laughs> don't, don't commute right now. And as always, know before you go, check the Caltrans quick map before hitting the roads and be sure to slow down, gas up and pack those snacks and supplies in case of an emergency. But with these worsening conditions, the wisest advice is to delay travel if you can. And thanks, man. This was the view the leaving South Lake Tahoe today. Tammy Ergate shared this video with ABC 10. There was a lot of traffic on the highway as people tried to head back down to Sacramento before conditions got worse. Meanwhile, all of this snow is great news for Tahoe ski resorts. This is new video from North Scar Ski Resort near Truckee who just opened their lifts today. It is a big sigh of relief for businesses heading into the holidays since opening weekend for most resorts was delayed for weeks. Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods continues to track all of the snow, rain and incoming winds. I know a lot of folks are excited to get up and see some of that snow experiencing the snow, skiing and snowboarding. But as Van was mentioning, it's advised not to go up to the sea or at least for the next day or two until this storm system passes through. Now we've been seeing light to moderate rain through the valley and fairly steady snow for this year, but it has also been a mix of rain and snow below about 6000 feet. So we have certainly seen some wet conditions up there. Snow level is going to fall, but not until Tuesday morning. We're still looking at rain for Pollock Pines through tonight and most of tomorrow as well as West Point. Arnold, we saw kind of a mix going on throughout the day. Right now, it's rain, but the colder air has yet to move through. That's going to be, dri be driven by this low coming in. It won't get here for a little time. In fact, it won't be until overnight Monday through Tuesday. So we still have that warmer part of the system driving inland tonight, bringing us about three tenths of an inch to almost half an inch of rain in the valley, close to an inch for parts of the foothills. Temperatures at this hour holding steady up for 40s to near 50 down low 40s and 30s for the foothills still about 35 degrees for the Tahoe Basin meaning again pretty much a mix through the Tahoe region winds are going to be another part of this storm system currently at about 15 to 20 miles per hour but those winds are going to increase gusts are already reaching about 25 to 35 miles per hour and our wind advisory will be in place for tomorrow with gusts as high as 45 miles per hour possible power outages tree limbs down branches blowing around as well as all those leaves possibly clogging the storm drains and then we've got our winter storm warning in effect that'll be in place through Tuesday above 3,500 feet. We're going to talk totals and our timing on this system coming up. And here was the view from above from this afternoon over El Dorado Hills. This is there's been steady rainfall throughout the day and again we're expecting things to really pick up tomorrow. If you need sandbags to help protect your business or home we have links to locations on abc10.com. We spoke with the California Office of Traffic Safety tonight. They tell us if you can avoid driving on the roads in the valley tomorrow, it's best to do so. But if you have no choice, the advice is to take it slow. 
I, I would suggest 10 miles below the speed limit because of those conditions and the risk of hydroplaning. If your car starts to hydroplane in the rain, don't slam on the brakes or turn your steering wheel in the opposite direction because it will cause your car to spin out. And this storm is having statewide impacts. Tonight, Caltrans posted that a part of Highway 1, the Pacific Coast Highway, will be closed tomorrow so people living near the 2020 Dolan burn scar can safely evacuate. This is just south of Monterey. For the latest weather information wherever you are, download the free ABC 10 app. We have an interactive radar with traffic updates in your area.